welcome back to our channel today I'm gonna do another app review video where I'll be uh, showing you guys the top four calendar app on Fitbit Versa these apps are based on my personal preference so let's get started if you guys are new to our channel please make sure you subscribe to our channel we do a lot of videos about Fitbit Versa reviews for various tech and cooking uh, so please make sure you subscribe by doing so you are helping our channel to grow so make sure you subscribe to our channel and if you are here because of Fitbit Versa, make sure you click on to the playlist and you'll be taken to one of our playlists for Fitbit Versa which is exclusively for Fitbit Versa and there are 36 plus videos and more to come and I am pretty sure you'll find something interesting about Fitbit Versa in that playlist. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm gonna switch the camera over to my watch here I am on my watch and my phone so the first app um, or I would say uh, it's not an app it's a watch face but uh, it's really one of the best calendar you can get uh, with a watch face and I'm gonna show it to you right now once once you install this watch face you can find it by typing nothing special uh, into the search bar for the watch face and you'll, you'll find this watch face you install this watch face and here's the magic I have done an in-depth uh, review video about this particular watch face which I'm gonna link it uh, up here and I'm also gonna link it at the end of the video now once you have installed it uh, you can actually click on to the date and the calendar will pop up so that's the easiest and the quickest way to load up the calendar now again as I say this is not an app it is actually a watch face um, and there are a lot of settings in here which I have talked about in that video which I'm not gonna talk now but you can disable the calendar by hitting this option which I haven't so that's why I'm able to access the calendar right away uh, you 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 touch on the date the calendar will open it will show you the current date uh, month um, and uh, days of the week and to pop it back you just click anywhere and it's gonna pop out to pop on you click it and it pops up now the the drawback about this is since it's a watch face uh, it's not actually an app so you can't uh, swipe or change um, the month so even if I press anything nothing happens so you can't really change or view the previous or forward um, and you can't even uh, uh, like you can't even get all the uh, uh, backup from your Google Calendar or Microsoft Calendar. So that's that's one of the major drawback But believe me, this is the easiest way to load up a calendar If you guys are someone who needs calendar on the go You can get it right away just by clicking on to the date and you can see um, uh, At least that month uh, and check out uh, dates and stuff like that so that's number one. Uh, number two on my list is uh, I'm gonna show you guys over here, um, and that's the calendar app. Now to find this app, uh, what you do on your phone is you go into the app section. Since this is an app, it's not actually a watch face. It's an app. Um, and you can type calendar in the search bar and it will come up as uh, calendar and the developer is uh, Jason Boger um, now I have put this in uh, my number two because it's uh, easy to access you can uh, look forward and backward uh, for uh, the date and month uh, the only drawback about this uh, particular uh, app is that you cannot um, back up uh, tasks and agendas from your Google or Microsoft uh, calendar but it's it's the easiest way to uh, see the date and uh, month and weeks as well uh, you can even go backward on this and you can even go forward on this as well and it shows the current date highlighted with uh, yellow now you can actually use a dark mode uh, once you use that it's it's gonna turn everything uh, dark so that's that's basically for uh, nighttime use um, you have to load it up again to activate the dark mode hmm, somehow it didn't so 
probably we have to yeah there you go sometimes takes time if it doesn't then you can uh, synchronize the watch to get it in effect uh, I personally don't like the dark mode I like the bright mode um, there you go so that's the second favorite app uh, again this is my personal preference some of you guys may not like it uh, but it works for me and I hope it works for you too now the number third app um, the reason why it's uh, number three is because it's a paid app um, otherwise it's it's really good uh, and there is one pretty awesome benefit about this app uh, and I'm gonna talk about that right now and that's the shift calendar so to find this uh, particular app you type uh, shift calendar in the search bar for the app and you'll find the shift calendar the developer is Wim Van um, Erscott now I'm gonna open this app on my watch and I'm gonna show you why it's my favorite uh, so when you open this app uh, it it, it comes it all the time it pops up like this I'm not using the premium version I'm only using the free version which you can do so as well and I'm gonna explain you why I don't need the premium version the premium version is a dollar ninety-nine I'm gonna hit free uh, now this app is a shift calendar so if you are working shifts uh, on a shift base like you have morning shifts or evening shifts or um, your shift kind of rotates then this is awesome because uh, with this you can actually see the shifts as well now the premium version over here will be useful when um, your shifts are rotating um, so in my case um, uh, my wife works um, Tuesday Wednesdays and alternate Friday Saturday and Sunday so you can see those are marked green um, so I can actually get her shift so I can coordinate in a way that uh, we can take care of our kids uh, but this is just for an example as I said she works Tuesday Wednesday so all the Tuesday Wednesdays are green but she only works alternate Friday Saturday and Sunday so that's why only the alternate uh, Friday Saturday Sundays are green so that way I I can actually know um, which day she's working and which day she isn't now if the shifts are rotating let's say for one month uh, this is the shift and then for another month the shifts rotate to every Friday Saturday Sunday instead of alternate then you will need the premium because you can actually change the shift rotation and you can view it on the watch as well so that that way you know ahead of time when you have the shift and when you don't uh, to go forward and backward you can either uh, swipe up uh, oh, sorry it's you hit the button uh, bottom right button um, sorry about that so you hit the bottom right button and it goes down uh, and then you hit the top left button and it goes up so this is the current date which is 20 up oh, sorry which is 20 right here uh, now you can see the days as well Sunday Monday if you want to get them out just click on that uh, click on the click on the top bar and it will show you the current date and month uh, and you again click it and it's, it's gonna show you the days so there is nothing really in terms of setting for this app unless until you have unlocked the premium version and then you can uh, unlock all the features but for me as I said I really don't feel the need of having the premium version so I just use the free version because the shifts aren't rotating uh, and it really works for me so that's the number third and number fourth is is the best app for calendar uh, again it's it's number four because it's a paid app uh, but if you really are someone who needs uh, a pretty awesome calendar app then this is my favorite which is my agenda and the developer is cool apps so you can find this by uh, searching uh, my agenda uh, or even calendar and this should come up uh, now I'm gonna show you the benefit of having this app like the layout and everything is just perfect um, it is also perfect in the sense that you can uh, um, get a Microsoft uh, calendar you can synchronize Microsoft calendar and Google calendar so you can have both 
or one at a time in my case i have google calendar set up in here uh, again as i said this is uh, i'm i'm trying this out uh, this is a trial period if you want to purchase uh, the premium version then you pay uh, i guess it's two dollars with uh, via kpay uh, so what kpay is uh, you you'll find a link when you end the trial uh, when you hit this and you go on the link they'll uh, uh, a code is gonna pop up on your watch you you uh, paste that code on the website and pay the amount and then uh, it will be uh, yours and you can every time use this so let's say if you change the phone or so you can still uh, use the payment gateway as well so the first thing is Microsoft Calendar which I have not logged in uh, but you can definitely log in and then the second one is Google Calendar uh, which I have logged in and it says that there are three event uh, backed up and I have entered three event over here to show you how that works. Now there is a, a setting, uh, setting as well you can actually store up to 20 events. Uh, I only have three events entered but you can actually save up to 20 events so 20 events uh, will pop um, up on the screen on your watch which is pretty neat and uh, that's a lot so you can go let's say if you're entering uh, an agenda per day then you can see 20 days ahead of time you can also change the text you can use big fonts small fonts uh, depending on your personal preference um, then you can change the color I have selected blue but you can uh, select red or green or whatever uh, let's select green you can see the effect is being implied right away then the background color is uh, gray you can change it to whatever color you want uh, I'll put blue and then the text color is white you can I would rather prefer it white uh, because that's a light color so we'll leave it white so these are the settings for this app um, now over here the other cool thing uh, about this particular app is you can see the current date over there and current time so most of the calendars app uh, which I reviewed ahead and um, uh, before they don't show the time uh, and they don't even show the um, uh, statistics for your fitness tracking so you see this bottom left corner you click that and uh, a bottom bar pops up where you can see your steps your um, stairs your current heart rate and the battery percentage so you can even keep this on all the time and and you can see four statistics plus time plus date and the agenda as well so you can even use this as a, a watch face as well um, so that's that's about it now I'm gonna show you by clicking on one of the tests. now the good part about this is you can actually enter a long uh, a long type over there uh, and you can pretty much include a lot of character over there it's gonna show you the time as well that it's today 7 30 p.m. to 8 30 p.m. and it's also gonna show you the location which is I just entered Tim Hortons 1060 Henderson Highway you can pretty much enter any location it's gonna even show you the location uh, when you hit back sorry about that I had to pause the video because I got a call and I had to answer that um, uh, alright so um, you can with this app you can even see the location I have entered three test messages uh, and then you can enter the location uh, and all the information which you have entered this was for all day long so that's why it doesn't show the time but you can even see the time as well if it's from 10 30 to 11 30 and stuff like that so i really hope you found this video helpful uh, please give this video a thumbs up if it helped you and share this video so a lot of other people uh, can be helped as well and if you have any questions or comments please leave a comment down below uh, and i'll try to help you out and thank you so much for watching this video make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos from our channel and take care i'm gonna see you guys in the next video Thanks.